pur the purpose of the technology site here at Sony, it's a diver diverse site, almost four different business model streams in different customer segments. So each of them is either providing a product or a service to those customers. So we must deliver the most highest quality product or service to those customers. Mm -hmm. Embedding the Sony quality culture in this operation starts at the very beginning, how we hire people. So it starts how we select those people, not always necessary on their ability or their skill, but we, we hire them on, on their will and their, and their ability to learn, their ability to adapt and their ability to change. So we'll try to enforce this from the very beginning. It's part of the induction program for new starters and new people here. There is a topic and an area on quality when you start here. So that's really most important because if you have people that are, don't want to embrace change and don't really want to learn new things and don't see that as a way forward, probably they won't last or survive too long here. The methods and processes we use here at Sony UK Technology Centre, they're quite wide and they're quite diverse. We have that freedom to create our own uh, production and systems and our own test equipment and that, that's one of the really strong points and it's a, it's a value of Sony about innovation and creativity. We are a company that values that and we allow it in our people. They were taught those techniques by some of the original Japanese that came here to Wales and we're the ones who've carried that on to the next and the next generation. Um, particularly we'll be thinking about continuous improvement, Kaizen, small improvements, small steps, frequently in the process and everybody will participate in that um, throughout the whole calendar year and there are people doing those Kaizen activities every week. Um, they've all been trained in the techniques that we call mudadori, the elimination of waste, seven techniques of eliminating waste. We'll teach them how to identify those waste and they will be autonomous by themselves in doing that. So it will not be necessarily led by a manager, it's led by any one of the team members from that shop floor who understands those techniques. And pokeyoke, mistake proofing, you know, we'll always be looking to automate or to eliminate the possibility of human, human error in the process. Those are some of the really important things. And then applying you know, quality practice and quality circles upstream from the very beginning. So not just focusing on the product, but we'll look at the management systems, we'll look at the people, we'll look at our suppliers, customers, as well as the product. So it's applying those techniques right across the whole process are really important. So if there's one thing that has, has really worked for me, particularly over the last 10 years or more, is always understanding you cannot stand still. The minute you stand still, you start falling backwards. So you need to have the energy and the understanding and the honesty to say you, are, you can always make yourself better. The minute you think you've made it, somebody else will come and overtake you, no matter what industry I think you're in, whether you're producing a product or you're providing a service to somebody. The minute you think you're number one, you start to become number two. It's better to think you're number two when you want to be number one because you seem to have a little bit more energy and a bit more urgency to get there.